Well, last year, for the first time in South Africa, the Dutch Consulate General teamed up with the International Inspiring 50 organization to give recognition to 50 leading women in technology and innovation. Now, they will be doing so again in 2018, with the finalists being announced on the 9th of August. And today, we're being joined by the Consul General of the, of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Bonnie Horbach, along with one of the inspiring 50 judges, respected media powerhouse and businesswoman, Carol Bauer, so we can celebrate these pioneering women. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Good morning it is so Leah. good to have you, of course. Carol, we're always welcome to it. And of course, Bonnie, welcome to our show this morning. I love that we are celebrating and just putting women in the field of technology and innovation on this kind of a platform. Bonnie, after last year's platform, did you start seeing any changes in the perception that people had towards women in technology? Well, I hope so. At least what, what I saw was that the women amongst themselves had, be, uh, had a better network. Yeah. So they found each other and they were pushing each other up, which I think was, uh, was a very nice uh, way of ensuring that, that we see the women mm -hmm. that are already doing uh, brilliant work in this sector. That's so powerful. Karen, Carol, and then in terms of the recipients, did they kind of recognize a marked change in their fields of industry as well? So I think that was very important. What we wanted to see was a change, not just in the field, but in their own careers, mm. their ability to interact with others, to yeah. access networks that they didn't have access to before. So the the result is that they're telling us that they're, they're better networked, yeah. they're accessing a network beyond South Africa, and I think that you know in the STEM fields that's very, very important. Yeah. Uh, you can't have technology just assist you access people that you could otherwise meet. Yeah. Um, they have accessed women from the Netherlands and now the UK as well. And I think those networks are not beneficial just to their careers, but for South Africa as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think this has been a very male-driven industry for such a long time, so it's so wonderful to see women being you know, put on the forefront and celebrated and being highlighted as well. What are you hoping this particular platform is going to do for the industry at large? Well, what I hope is that we see them. Uh, we see the women that are already working in these different sectors, uh, and we allow our, um, our children, uh, I have a daughter of eight years old, to, to see that, that she also can come become an aviation uh, yeah. pilot or is, is someone in uh, the nuclear energy uh, sector or someone who starts her own business. Because these women come from all different sectors, and it's amazing to see what they're already what they're doing, the changes that they are making, um, and to allow them to just shine. Yeah. Uh. Absolutely. We were just saying yeah. how surprising it is if you look at just the diversity of the women, but also what they've done for South Africa so far. It's surprising that we don't know them. Yeah. So yeah. in a way, we, we would like to bombard you with as many CVs bombard. as yeah. possible <laughs> for you to speak to them. South Africans wow. need to see what we really can be if we support it as women, what we can become. Yeah. It's yeah. so important. And while we're uh, celebrating women that are currently in the industry, we're also looking to empower and inspire young girls in the areas of teen um, uh, tech and innovation. But I know that the UK division of Inspiring 50 has also kind of jumped onto this. Do you want to tell us more about that? Well, not only have they jumped onto it, but also what they've done is that they've been quite uh, intentional yeah. about ensuring that the youth are well represented. Yeah. And, and that's something that you have done very organically. I mean, Bonnie has been a, a serious paradigm shifter since mm. she's been in South Africa. What's been beautiful about it is that South Africa can also talk about being part of, of that, uh, that shift. We have an 18-year-old South African who's already won uh, you know, at the Google Science Fair. We have, her name is Kiara, we, you look at the SKA project, how many young women, you know, are, are a part of that? And we don't talk about that. So it's important that not only do the media begin to talk about it, but those who are part of the innovation, those who are part of the change, they need to come out and tell their stories. They need to avail themselves, to tell well, their stories. Well, it's Women's Month, so please avail yourself so that we can hear the stories. Thank you so much, Carol. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Absolutely incredible platform and I can't wait to hear who is going to be um, making that honours roll on the 9th of August because that's when the names will be revealed, right? Well, I, well actually today the names will be revealed yeah. and on uh, the 8th of August we'll have yeah. a big celebration for them. So you can go to www dot co and you will see the whole list of the 50 winners. Wonderful. 
Shall yeah. we give one teaser? Yes. Give us a teaser. So, first I'm oh, all of them. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> we are here for the teasers. Well, we're going to keep yeah. you on speed dial because we definitely want to watch this journey as it unfolds. Thank Fantastic. you so much. Well, there you have it. Expresso would love to give a resounding halala. And, of course, warm congratulations to the women being recognized by the Inspiring 50 list. Now, we hope that many young girls and women that are watching right now and even in our country will look to them for inspiration and motivation as we see this industry grow and flourish and as we put these incredible women on this amazing platform.